Hello everyone and welcome back to more Mass Effect 3. In the last episode, we saved the people of Grissom Academ Academy, learned that Jack had become a teacher there, and that David is now living his best life after we rescued him from Cerberus. So, apparently Hackett's on the line. Commander, something else you need? Nothing more, sir. Apparently Can Hackett has it? got Hackett nothing to say. Uh, but trainer keeps reminding us that Hack is on the comm. Shall should we need him? Uh, but we don't. Oh, Victus is over here tap tip tapping away. All right. So we have to meet this threshold if we want to have a fleet to destroy the Reapers, and we are slowly getting there, very slowly, as you can see. This bar is only like that. But then again, we've only been playing for um uh like a couple hours now, and most of that was spent. Walking around talking to people on the Citadel. You see the feeds from Palavin? It's brutal. I'm amazed the Turians are holding. The birds don't quit when things get ugly. I'll give them that. Uh, Commander, you have an encrypted message from a Miranda Lawson. Ooh, Miranda's hitting me up. What does she want? Uh, Kate Nalenko, hey Shepard, still in the hospital, but I'm up on my feet eating solid food and making trouble for the nurses. They'll probably throw me out of here soon. Come by if you're on the Citadel. Same room. We have, we always have a, I like the, the oh, okay. So in the last game, there really wasn't much we we could do on the Citadel. It was like two side, two loyalty missions were on the Citadel. Then we got the, uh, like a few little side missions that didn't really matter. This game re seems to me like it's going to be trying to get me to go to the Citadel a lot more often. And I really like that because I really like that we have to, um, keep up with everybody. Uh, so like Caden's on the Citadel, then we picked up a bunch of other missions and that. Uh, I also looked up how to do the Hanar indoctrination thing, so we can probably get that rolling. And I might also, before the next time we go to the Citadel, because we have a lot of stuff to do there again, uh, I would like to have an idea of how to do some of these other missions that we got, um, particularly the uh, Eclipse mercenary stuff because I might have just talked myself into a corner and I can't get out of it. So we're going to see what happens from there. Um, from Stephen Hackett, forward a message from Kaylee Sanders. Subject, thank you to Stephen Hackett. Hi, Commander. I didn't have time to thank you properly after you got us out of the Academy and Admiral Hackett agreed to send this your way. While my students are out on duty, I'm doing what I can to help the Crucible. It's an amazing project, more advanced than anything I've ever seen before. Some of my more tech-minded kids are staying back to help out too and watching them work. It's the future, Commander. This project will inform human progress for generations, and they'll have you to thank for it. All my best, Kaylee Sanders. Uh, Miranda Lawson. Commander, I heard about your stay. Oh, what? I heard about your stay with the Alliance. I can only imagine what nonsense they cooked up to keep you there. We should talk. It's safer in person. You'll find me in Citadel Bay Citadel by Bay D24, Miranda. Okay. Trainer? And I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. Thank God. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Indeed. Let's go check on Joker and Eni, see how their relationship is progressing, because they're clearly like two steps from having weird relations. So Jack's an instructor? I guess anyone who messes with biotic kids gets turned into a small stain on the floor and ceiling. Ooh, and that was Cerberus attacking the Academy. Man, that must have been like Christmas for her. Indeed. Anyway, nice job on getting them out of there. They were throwing out some impressive biotic power. Good. We could use some heavy hitters in the biotics department. It'll be good for them, too. Biotics face a lot of discrimination. Maybe if they save the galaxy, people will get over their issues. I didn't expect you to be sensitive about that. Hey, I'm just tired of them stealing the spotlight from people with actual <laughs> disabilities. I break ribs if I sneeze too hard. Being able to move crap with your mind is not a handicap. I'm with you, man. It's a gift. Yes, Shepard? Uh... Uh, you don't have anything to do Carry to on, say. Edie. Understood. So... If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Okay. So, like I said, I think in the last episode, episode before last, one of the main things that I'm doing now, I've learned, 
is that I should be talking to people more often. Commander. Oh, this is the this is the way to the comms. I don't need that. Uh, there's people to be talked to, and if I don't talk to them, then I'll miss some stuff. And uh, because in the last game, I literally went mission, 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 mission. I literally like hyper focused and just did all the missions, and then I did the bare minimum. But there was a lot of conversations that I didn't get to look at in experience. Uh, so I'm switching it up this time. This is the crew quarters. Yeah. So that's what uh, that's what we're doing. Chakwas usually doesn't have much to say after you talk to her the first few times. So let's go see if Liara's got anything new to say. The private messages terminal has new correspondence. Oh, really? This terminal, I still don't know what the hell it's doing. Oh, there we go. Did we, did we do? All right, so let's look at Liara's Prothean notes. If what Javik sa says is true, his people were imperialists who left the rest of the galaxy quaking in terror. And I think he would sacrifice all of us without a thought if he could bring them all back again. I reviewed my old notes today. They're so childish. Do we romanticize the Protheans because we were dazzled by the technology they left behind? All these real, really, are these really the people I dedicated my life to studying? Uh, yeah. I don't know what a sorry ancient history is like, but human ancient history is rife with imperialist stuff. Um, you assimilate or you die. That's how it works. And that's how human history has worked for a long time. Uh, call from Kaylee to Jack. Why are we... Oh, because she's the shadow broker, so she's tapped into everything. Jack, hey, Sanders, checking on the kids? How are they, Jack? They'll do good. This is going to be long. This is going to be long? I kind of got crap to do. I wanted to tell you, I persuaded some Alliance friends to part with that biotic amp you and the children were testing out Grissom. You can pick it up on the Citadel. Damn, one of the L L3X1s? You know how much shit I got to tear up with the one of those installed? You know how much shit I could tear up with one of those installed? I had an idea. Look after yourself. Yeah, yeah. And hey, thanks. Uh, email from Kaylee Sanders to David Anderson. David, you won't get this for a while unless you find an extranet connection working on Earth. I've made it out to this weapon we're building. The device isn't even halfway complete, and it's the most breathtakingly complicated piece of technology I've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. It gives me hope. Take care for my sake. Are they like... Romantically involved or no? Nah. <laughs> like I'm getting real vibes of of romance in the air. But uh, all right, Liara, you got anything to say? Oh man, I love those. I wish I could have monitors like this. This'd be so sick. The monitors track me. Mm. A Prothean, a living, breathing Prothean, right below me. I'm aware how he's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean Shepherd? There's so much he could tell us. Oh, I know, babe. It was odd to see an entire academy just for biotic children. Don't Asari have biotic schools? Every Asari school includes biotic training programs. Yeah. It's basic education. Still, those children in the academy were very impressive. I'm sure Jack's proud. Good to see you again, Shepherd. Good to see you again, All right, Shepherd. so she's exhausted her conversation. Does Garrus have anything to say? One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. That's just... If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, there'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. Looks like we beat Cerberus again. Do you think I wish they had had a Grissom Academy for Turians when I was growing up. Always wanted to learn how to paint. Now I mostly paint walls with Reaper blood. Not the same, but it's a living. <laughs> Later. Oh, Garrus, you beautiful bastard. I wonder if Javik has anything to say about it. So, who who do we have so far? We have James Javik. 
We got James, Javit, Garrus, Liara, and Edie, right? Is our companions? But I don't think most of them have anything to say. Javik is not in his room. All right. Guess Javik has nothing to say. All right, so let's go topside. And uh, we'll go to the next mission area, I think. This, uh, we can get some action in today. So I'm not, you know, walking around talking to people for two episodes in a row again. Um, we gotta get out of here. Beep. All right, meet with diplomats. Go to Doc Forty Two. Hades Gamma, Secret's Cradle, Shrike Abyssal, Crescent Nebula, Minos Wasteland. We actually do have a bunch to do. Is this Hades? You know what? Maybe we do. Maybe we do go back to the Citadel because we have a lot to do there. We have to go meet up with a bunch of people too. So does Javik not get off the Normandy if we dock at the Citadel? Because everyone else seems to. They go to shore leave. Oh. What's up, Bella? Bella? Are you Bray? Uh, the great Commander Shepard. <laughs> and me without my autograph book. Save it. Just take me to Aria. Follow me. So where is she? Stylish as always. Shepard. Arya. How's it going, girl? Arya. How dramatic. There are too many eyes and ears in purgatory. Conversation in cars have been going on between mobsters for decades. I assume this is about retaking Omega? This is about your war, Shepard. Not mine. Cerberus controlling the Terminus system seriously bolsters their mobility. True. Since taking Omega, they've spread through the galaxy. Surely the Alliance has noticed. Cut to the chase. What's your plan? Kick them out. <laughs> That's a good plan. I've amassed a fleet of Merc ships we're going to punch through enemy lines and invade. Once we're on Omega, it's a ground war. That's why I want you. I only accept the best. I think this is a DLC. The leader of the Cerberus occupation is General Oleg Petrovsky. He's the one who ousted me. Don't know him. The elusive man's top military strategist and best kept secret. But all you really need to know is that he's a merciless bastard. What's your intel on the occupation? Petrovsky's army is massive, and he's got Omega locked tight. The information stops there. So you're winging it? Not at all. There are secrets on Omega only I know. Secrets True. that will provide us a foothold. I can tell you That's this. Good. Petrovsky's invasion was precise and ruthless. We'll stop at nothing to win. Sounds familiar. Shepard, I know my reputation. I know I'm hated. I ruled Omega with an iron fist. But the yeah. people were free. Their lives were theirs. I preserved that. True. This man took all that away, and he is going to pay. Okay. When Omega is mine again, I'll give you everything. I've got ships, mercs, Ezo, all yours for the war. What's the catch? I have objections to some of the company you keep. So you'll have to leave the Normandy and its crew behind. My crew are professionals. Let's just say, I want you all to myself. You're gonna have to work for me. Is what she just said. I'll fight, I'll help you fight Bray the war with the Reapers. coordinates to my fleet. Oh, and while we're still in the Citadel, please be discreet. 
I'll help you fight the war with the Reapers, but in order to do that... The fleet is hidden in this system. Signal me when you're on your way. Ari and I will meet you on the command ship. Whatever. <laughs> Can't wait to see what all the fuss is about. Dude, did you... Do you need me to kill another huge colony of Batarians? Keep talking shit. So, but... I don't like that. She She's like, I'll give you all the resources I have to fight the war with the Reapers. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. However, when I do, I want you to be part of exclusively my underground You're clear to dock, Normandy. everything. Do you need ground transport? Uh... I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Miranda is on the viewing deck in three, so she's straight ahead, eh? Oh, there she is. Shepard, over here. Hey, Miranda. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. It's six months. It's not that we long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. You were Cerberus. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. You wiped out a Batarian colony. Oh, I wiped out a Batarian colony, I suppose. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. Yeah. They should have listened to you a long time ago. Yeah, no shit. But here we are. I'm sorry, Shepard. You're human too. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. As always. Shepard? Yeah? There's something I wanted to mention. Mm -hmm. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Is she still on Ilium? Your sister? Ilium? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. Right. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard, but you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I well, if you need me to go after Oriana, I have to figure this out. You will. Have you had any run ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me, but he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds yeah, fine. it sounds like she got it fired. Really he doesn't take rejection well. No. He doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Why do you think your father was involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. Yeah, there she got After I killed. hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. Can't he but just I'll make more clones? I'm certain. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as and it sounds. And yet you somehow got on the Citadel. I didn't know. It's alright. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. Pretty much. She was high up. I am. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. Oh, uh, well. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. I mean, I could, I could certainly see <laughs> why so many people like Miranda. Um, however. I don't know. I mean, I can see why a lot of the fan base seems to like Miranda a lot. She's okay, I guess. I, I think Jack is a better character. I think because Kazumi is also super freaking cool. 
Um, so yeah, I think that's good. So I looked up before, I think after like I recorded last episode, I looked up where to do the Hanar stuff and it said something about docks. But clearly that's not the case. We don't need to do anything on those. So I guess we just go into the elevator, eh? Uh, we have to go Welcome, to Quartel Memorial. We can talk to Caden again, apparently. He's he's getting way better. Now arriving at Quartel There's Memorial Thane and his end-of-life care. Welcome to Serta. Thank you for shopping. You don't have anything I need. So, I think from now on, to buy stuff, I might just go to the requisitions terminal in the shuttle bay. Uh, on the... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I have the, uh, thing that you want. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone. But I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. Yeah, I mean, this is exactly we're all pretty much bipedal. Thank you. There you go. Tell Matriarch Athena that our huntresses should have the upgrades waiting for them. What's going on here? Hey, Caden. Hey, Shepard. If you came to spring me, you're late. I'm getting out soon. That's good. Good to hear. Maybe you already saw the vid, but I accepted Udina's offer. You're now a Spectre. Spectre Caden Alenko. That's a big deal. Only the second human Spectre. <laughs> it's humbling. Udina thinks they may have a pretty big ceremony, even with the war. And Jesus he says a celebration Christ. will give folks something hopeful to latch onto. True. You ready to take on that responsibility? The second you human the Spectre. High, but I'll do my best. I mean, that's still a huge honor. It's strange. On Mars. I should have died. The promotion from Anderson, Spectre status. These are terrible days. Sometimes the best lucky. things that can happen to you happen in the worst times. You're perfect for the job. On Eden Prime, I could see there was something special about you. You're a good soldier. That means a lot. I'm happy. I want to serve. I thought you might want to join the Normandy. Yeah, I have thought about that. Uh, I think he'd be better. I just need to get out of here first, though. Take care of some things. I've been trying to locate my old spec op squads. My students from biotics division. Any luck? No, probably went underground, but they'll turn up. That's good. If they were easy to find, they wouldn't be doing their jobs. Well, let me know when you're out. Take care, Specter Olenko. Stay safe, Commander. Take care, Spectre Alanko. Stay safe, Spectre Shepard. But clone tissue replacement takes months. You'll need a prosthetic. Oh no. All right. So, if we would have saved Ashley, Ashley would have been the one to become a Spectre. So it seems that, and I knew that. I did. I just didn't know that. Those prototypes are vital. I didn't know Caden also became a Spectre. So. That's good to know. That's, I guess, good to know. It's not like... Oh my god. Am I just gonna go through the hospital We're and pick up some shit farm. for everybody? We killed a few enemy scouts. Uh, well, anyways, uh... So, yeah, I guess he's, he's got that going for him. Uh, Normandy Dock, Bay 24. Areas tagged of interest to you are highlighted on the One moment. If I do this, do I just go back to the ship? Now arriving at docking bay D24. So then what the hell is the other one? Cause this yeah, this is that. I don't need to be here. Welcome, Commander. Docks Shadow holding Hulk. area. Is this what I know that it's something with docks is the Hanar thing. Now arriving oh, we haven't been here yet. There it is. Bow, Alun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar. Kaje. It all comes down to the war 
and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with Keiji. Keiji wouldn't want you to spend all your time plugged into that thing. Well, he shouldn't have died then. Uh, I mean... That's certainly an attitude to have, <laughs> I guess. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, man, look at that. We have all sorts of other shit that just got unlocked. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Look at this. We haven't been here. Are we gonna pick a side in that dispute too? The Alliance military has abandoned. You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right, but they can't land here. You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. I'm not. I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> I'm gonna let that play out. Obviously, I'm supposed to be making a decision here, but. We're just gonna leave it for now. I'll do it when I get to it. Um, is the, what is going on here? Oh no! Her twin sister's out on the crates out here. Oh, and there's another. Is that a triplet? Are you a triplet? No, you're not. You're different. It's a theoretical enemy, my ass! Batarian, oh. I'm surprised they even sell shit to me. You know, after I blew up the... <laughs> you know, after I blew up their uh, colonies. Uh, let's see here. Terminal in Bay E 28, which is four. So it's at the end here. Cargo hold A, which is at the end and up top. So straight. Darner, Vosk, Sane, and then Garrus is like over here, right? I've got a list of new Hanover arrivals, pal. Forwarding it to you. On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. Of course he is. He never could pass up a good fight. Nope. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See, Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I thought you were happy with your memory. Why did hey, the... I'm nostalgic, not dead. Ah. Uh, you act like you're dead. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Bosk. Oh, sure you are. Oh, is he Red Suns? Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. And what problem would that Which be? Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. And what I'll are you doing in the sector? Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Araka's complaint. Yeah. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Araka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? <laughs> yeah. Arya seems to think so. Or else... Why would she send you? I'm not gonna assassinate the it. The two of you work it out. I'm not gonna assassinate him. Oh, and uh, <laughs> tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. I'm not gonna tell Arya that, but I'll record that and send it to her. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? 
Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for exactly. to stop disrupting That's what I'm saying. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you can get him to lay off. True. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of it. I don't see the distinction. Instead of letting the Blue right. Suns just assassinate him. Why you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you. Needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Ah. Uh, yeah. He mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. <laughs> sure. Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Yes, sir. And have we heard oh, anything from the hospital? Here. The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on at some of the. Who do I need to talk to? Who's name saying that I need to talk to? Tranic, on our diplomat. Find them and bring them to the. Oh, that would probably be him. Wounded don't have much time. Men, get ready for trouble. What? Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris's release. Oh, is he the... Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Oh, this solves my Eclipse problem. That's who this is. Okay. Sane, you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. You Keep are... Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. Alright, so you are even dumber than I thought. What am I looking at? Oh, yeah. We're looking at VI model 1.7 AGB, Commander Shepard. Please see a store clerk to unlock a demo of this model. But my voice is wrong. You have a copy of a Shepard VI? Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? Are unlock you blind? It some kids spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Are you blind? You don't see that that's me? And I, yeah, I could have swore that I asked that guy for a copy of it. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. No, oh, the voice is similar, but it's not quite there. What's up, boy? Shepard. What's happening? Yeah. We convinced the council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% Jesus in Christ. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out whole platoons at a time. I'm thinking that we go A single reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called reapers for a reason. Yep. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Hopeless. Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. It's good. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. Enjoy... There's a lot more war to go. Yep. Enjoy the world. Enjoy life a little bit more. Uh, so, do I have to go back to the Spectre thing? The Spectre office in the embassies for the Hanar thing? I'm very interested in the Hanar thing. I don't know why I'm like... I'll spend like a good portion of time between episodes being like... You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. Shepard, the council withdrew the release order for Sedaris. Arya Talok of all people got him to do it. Crazy. You can say that again. Thanks for your help, Shepard. Uh, I think it was the right call because Eclipse will be much easier to handle if it's with a puppet as the lead, and then Arya can just assume um, 
leadership of Eclipse from there. Bow, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names. I've got it. A recent arrival. Zamandis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. Oh boy. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks Seems way. like it. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Oh, baby. The nav point for his office. All right, where the hell's that? So we got Garrus down here. General Oraka, I can talk to him. Uh, James is at the bar. I'm not shocked. Jordan Bao is in the embassy. Oh. Let's go to the embassies. I will deal with this. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. I will deal with it. I do like that there's a lot more missions uh, where I'm just now talking to people. There he is. Hey, man. Let's do it. Zamandis? <laughs> or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. I thought that they praised the Protheans, uh, like a religion. So why would they side against them? Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. Yeah. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. I should have... You... Big stupid jellyfish. <laughs> you know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. <laughs> Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their oh, okay. sapiens, dude, I need to bring Javik in here and have him set your ass straight. <laughs> like... You're insane, and we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We're taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. You big stupid jellyfish. Which I have just uploaded. Oh. Damn it. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. <laughs> you may be delayed. Help him. I'll handle this. <laughs> yeah, Shepard. <laughs> And we shot the jellyfish. Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the. Wait. It's gonna it's blow got up. Some kind of failsafe. Get down. Oh fuck. She was here the entire time. Yeah, she was. She was an old friend. She just died. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the collectors, and she just gave her life to save the Hanor homeworld. She really just fucking die on me. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor. With a few friends. Good to know, Jordan Bow. I don't think she died. I think this was just to get him off of her. You can come out now. <laughs> yeah. How'd you know? Lucky guess. <laughs> There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. Wasn't planning on it. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. <laughs> it's not like they're going to check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. <laughs> All right. I'm in. And Shep, nice working with you again. Dude, I am super into this game, dude. It's like everyone I care about, I'm encountering, and it's like uh, it's like we're just tripping. We're having a good time. Uh, Councilor Regina and Bailey are the people here, but I don't need to talk to them. So we're gonna continue on. 
You can come out now. That was funny. Presidium Comets. Let's go down here and uh, I guess we can talk to what's his face. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. The Hanor and the Drill Forces. So that would be consisting of. Uh, After all, it's not like I'm the reason you're breaking up with him, right? It's the war. Sure, <laughs> sure. How, whatever mental gymnastics you need to have to make yourself feel better about fucking destroying a, for being a home wrecker. You go right ahead, lady. I ain't, I ain't sweating. Commander Shepard. Araka. General Araka. I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. <laughs> yes. Neck. Deep in drink just oh, it's you! I just, <laughs> my brain just connected. Reinstated. My brain connected. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When? the war comes here. Yeah, there's no doubt. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. Why? The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. That sounds good. Let me try to deal with it and just have a backup. It's a good plan. Uh, Meridian Place Market. We got Canic down here, apparently. Who, whoever the hell that is. Unless you have... Fish and other... Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with a bad attitude. <laughs> yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? Yeah. Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. Okay. So, what gets me access to your top shelf? Yeah. Heh. <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and then spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. You're, well, you're clearly you bartering. you rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with CSEC, no problem. Okay. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Credits don't talk with me, Commander. CSEC wants my top of the line. You gotta come through. Couple artifacts. So the game bugs out, as you can see, it still was trying to get me to talk to them. I have noticed many displays of public affection on the Citadel. The rate seems disproportionately high. Everybody could die tomorrow, Edie. Hooking up is one of the few things they can do. I wonder if this is how the Krogan feel. <laughs> uh, uh, upset? <laughs> Commander. Unless you can find a new source of weapons for CSEC, I'm putting together a task force to stop the Blue Suns myself. I'll get you your weapons, General. I have to bring back artifacts. I appreciate the effort, but I've spent too much time out of action, Commander. Won't be able to sit on my hands much longer. You're going to sit on your hands until I get my hands on some artifacts to trade for the top of the line weaponry. Okay, that's just how this game works. You say that, but it's not true. Hello, Shepard. Liara, stop giving me the cold shoulder. Jeez. Uh, let's go back to the Normandy, cause we can do a bunch of shit now. Well, I guess do a bunch of shit. We did clear up a bunch of stuff on uh on the Citadel, but now. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment. We can just go do whatever we need to do. Now arriving at Docking Bay D twenty four. Anyone here that I need to talk to? No? Alright, then I'll be going. The 
A galactic invasion has taken place, and yet we are still saying that Reapers do not exist and they are a figment of our imagination as they slaughter all of us. I'm not going to rendezvous with her fleet. I'd be an idiot to do so. Where do I need to go? Kite's nest to get artifacts to solve that problem. Sk oh, we can hunt down Leviathan. Scan for Dr. Garneau. Uh, over here? I need to increase fuel capacity, but I don't think there's a way to do that in this game. But there is in the other ones. Hmm. Oh. Malavid or Mahavid. We have located Garno. Oh, what the hell is he doing here? Mahavid is a metallic asteroid in the very sparse Nahada belt. It has a high nickel and iron content in the form of camasite. The rights to mine Mahavid belong to TGS Mine Mineral Works, who sell their products primarily to the colonists of Arvuna. A close flyby reveals light emanating from its facilities. Population 152. Uh, all estimates are pre-invasion. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm like I'm laughing at Edie's pose <laughs> cause she's like totally like I'm a super sexy super spy <laughs> it's just funny we're about five minutes out commander what exactly is on this asteroid Mining facility. TGS Mineral Works. Small operation. Could be a good place for Leviathan to hide. We've all read Edie's notes on Bryson's lab. Any questions? Do we have any more information on what Leviathan could be? Not really. We only know it killed a Reaper. But it is Garneau, Dr. Bryson's associate, that we are looking for. Indeed. Right. If we find Garneau, we find Leviathan. Agreed. The doctor was right. Anything powerful enough to kill a Reaper needs to be investigated. Yeah. I just hope Garneau has the answers we need. I'm reading Reaper enemy signatures in the asteroid oh, field. Oh, no. Brayson said they were shadowing his field teams. If they're after Leviathan 2, Reapers are a good sign. That's not something you hear every day. Take us in. If you're investigating something and the enemy that it is effective against is hunting it too, then you know you're on the right track. Because <laughs> something's going on here. <laughs> I suspect All right, ladies. Don't go anywhere, Cortez. We'll grab this guy and be right out. Keep me updated on the Reaper situation. Yes, Commander. Oh, you guys get What is it from like the second Monster Sync movie? Oh, you guys just go right ahead. I'll be in the car listening to my tunes and then she turns on heavy metal. That's what I imagine Cortez is doing. Oh. Scouting party. That sounds larger than the term scouting party would suggest. Oh, look at that. Uh. Hackity dackity. Oh boy. And I like. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I forgot that I moved my ammo. Oh, man, he just shredded. He shredded my armor. Can I, like, melee this guy? No, 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 no. That was a bad idea. Nope. Oh, well, he did die, so never mind. Might have been a good idea. Oh, wait, my, that's my cryo ammo, so let me... Nope, let me switch to the, uh... 
the zippy zap armor ammo. Here we go. That's not gonna do anything. It's armor, not uh, not shielding. It's armor, not shielding. All right. I hate you. Go down! This is really annoying. Uh, I would love to reload, but apparently the game won't let me. Because I don't have ammo. Actually, the heavy pistol, right? I really need armor boosting rounds. Now uh, the pistol took care Let's of it apparently. Care before the serious trips arrive. The people in this facility will be scared. Yeah, well, with that behemoth attacking, I'm not shocked. Is there no ammo clips around? Because I could use some ammo. Oh, look at that. Just what I always wanted. I'm a real boy. Thank God there's no bypass minigames. Welcome to TGS Mineral Works. All guests need to sign in at reception. Why are y'all acting like nothing's happening? This doesn't feel right. What is going on? This is this is spooky. Hmm. I'm Commander Shepard of the Alliance. You just had Reaper troops attacking your front door. Are they still there? I've taken care of them for now. I see. That will be all. Are they under Leviathan's influence? That will be. I gotta say, the faces have definitely got yes. a lot better. Welcome to TGS Mineral Works. How can we help you? Yes, for the tour. Please sign in. You don't seem worried about those Reapers. You know something I don't? TGS Mineral Works is a small to mid level supplier of tungsten to the galaxy. That's not what I meant. Are you familiar with the applications of tungsten? Yes. I'm looking for a researcher named Dr. Garneau. He would have arrived within the last couple weeks. If he's still here, I need to speak to him. We have no Dr. Garneau. Do you need to see a doctor? How about I just go in and look around? No. The access elevator is broken. Indeed. You guys... And now, we're done. Step away. Step away. You don't belong here. What is happening? Shepard, I doubt we're going to get any more out of them. Let's look around. Careful. This is creepy. And in the next episode, we're going to investigate the creep. So, <laughs> so <laughs> if you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below of how I can improve in the future. We're going to investigate. And hopefully we'll find Leviathan and Dr. Garneau. Because they're here somewhere, and these people are freaking creepy. So, uh, goodbye.